guys, today I created the Galactic Festival look using both the Huda Beauty and a Modern Renaissance palette to create this nice purple, orange, pinky toned eye and with the duo cream lid. Um, this is the festival look I would particularly go for if I went to a festival. It's something different, something really easy. It looks like you put a lot of effort into it, but it actually is a really quick and simple look. But the eyes, honestly, they're super simple. These steps I showed you, quick and easy, you can follow them. Hope you guys gain some inspiration from this look, maybe to use for your own festival ideas. And if you recreate this, tag me and show me how you did it. That would be super sick. And yeah, and if you want to see how I did this look, keep watching. See you soon. So we're going to start off with the face. I already prepped my face and all of that. I'll show you what I use. So what I did use today um, is the Celia Anti-Age Celebrate New Year Day Care by Nivea. I usually just put this on every morning just to hydrate my face, add moisture and so on and so on. And I do like to use the Anti-Age one just so I am a bit prepared early, if that makes sense. And it is a greater use when you're at a younger age. So it does more for you. It's more beneficial when you're younger, if that makes sense. And then on top of that, I like to use the Inoxia Hydrating Facial Oil with pomegranate and chia seeds. It's chia seed oil. And I usually put two or three drops every night and every day just after my moisturizer. What this is going to do is add that extra hydration during this weather. Because usually during like winter times, my face does get a bit dry and I just want to stop that from happening. So I like to put this on and I'll quickly show you what I like to use during my night. So during the night, I like to use the Sukun Moisture Restoring Night Cream, and it's color free. This brand is very good with the nature and earth and all that stuff. It doesn't have any nasties in it, and it is really, really, really nice to the skin. I love putting this on every night just because I do have dry skin as I told you just in some areas and um, I love putting this on it as that extra hydration because as well as when you take all your makeup off and use all those cleansers your face does feel a bit dry and it just feels like it needs that extra moisture so I love using this just to add that extra moisture to my face and it's also amazing when you have burnt your face off from the sun and that this would just soothe it and just give you some more moisture to the face. Okay, I'm gonna try the Australis Color Click Color Correcting Primer in The Goddess. So this is more of a bronzy one. So this is gonna add that bronze glow to my face. I do have other ones I'm pretty sure. I have a pink one, a green one, a blue one and I'm just thinking either a purple or white and they all do for different things so like the green one redness pretty sure like the blue one's hydration and so forth and so forth and they are really nice it's just gonna add a nice glow to my face just before I put the foundation but it will look a bit orange at the start but it's fine <laughs> so just oh. so you can see it goes on a bit orange once you blend it in it's fine and it has all these really nice gold shimmers to it which I find makes my skin look super glowy once that is all blended in I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover so in here it looks like this it has three little concealer colors it has your purple tone one and your green one so I'm just going to use the green one just to fix up these little things here I'm going to use my finger over here and I really love this product just because it is super creamy super creamy it's not too thick and not too watery it's really nice and creamy which is what I like <laughs> so foundation I'm going to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer just looks like this I am the color 575 cork and I'm going to do a few little swipes on the face I think about three 
Winter. Winter. One map. One around there. And then there's, and of course, the forehead. Like so, and then you want to make sure you put something in next so just everything kind of blends in nicely. Like so. <laughs> Look a bit crazy, but that's okay. I'm taking this bead render. This one is by Manicure. You can just pick them up from Price Line. They're not too expensive and they work really nicely. They're just a little bit of an odd shape. But I don't mind it because I usually use this end to do cream contour for my bronzer and then this end just to blend everything in. So I'm just going to try it. Split me out. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Medium NARS Creamy Concealer in Medium Custard 1. And I'm just going to put this all underneath my eyeballs. And the reason why I'm doing my foundation first before the eyeshadow look is just because I wanted just a bit of a blown out look rather than it just being like really harsh if that makes sense make sure these are all covered yeah I just put in the concealer and all those points where I want to highlight my face I think that'd be a bit again I'm actually going to take this side and see like I can just blend it out nicely like so So then we're going to go in with powder. So for my under eyes, what I like to do is I like to put the banana powder first and then bake. Just because I feel like under my eyes are pretty oily. And when I put the translucent powder on and let it bake, and when I try to like wipe it away, it kind of leaves like a white cast underneath my eyes. And or it doesn't sleep. So I like to use the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. My favourite contour kit so far that I've found. The colours in it are just amazing. This bronzer shade is beautiful. None of the contour shades go on too muddy. They're really lovely and the highlight shade is also really nice. It's very subtle. If you want a little contour kit or a little palette for on the go, this one I would highly recommend just to chuck in your bag for touch ups and so forth. I'm going to take this little setting brush and I'm going to use that banana shade and I'm just going to pat underneath my eyes. This is just going to help brighten up that area as well. So if you can already see, I have, well, if you have picked it up, I have combo skin. So in some areas, I am super dry. In some areas, I get super oily. Like, it's just ridiculous. Once that is done, I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. My favourite powder in the world. If you want a drugstore alternative, the Rimmel London Match Perfection Powder is the bomb. It is absolutely amazing and it works exactly the same. So I just like to use this and it's kind of part of my whole day face but not oily or anything. And it just leaves your face looking super silky. It's just amazing. So once I pat it that on, the one, the excess that I have left, I'm going to take on my beauty blender, this side. This is why I like this beauty blender, just because it has the, the angled kind of flat side so I can do baking really easily. So I'm just going to bake my under eyes. Like... So... <laughs> So once I'm looking pretty funky, I'm actually going to do one eye off camera and then do this one. 
and I'll show you how to do this one when I'm done with this one okay so I'll see you guys out and then I finished this eye so this is what the end eye looks like it has a bit of oranges pinks purples and then a duo chrome kind of lid going on I thought it was like the perfect festival as I'm going for a little bit of a galactic kind of a look so I'm going to show you what I did here on here so what I did started off I just used my MAC um, gel fluid gel fluid line um, eyebrow little pomade thing I used that and then I used the MAC Pro Long Wear brow set to my brows and then to prime my eyes to prime my eyes is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then to just cover up my eyebrows is that NARS Cream Concealer again. So, and then I just um, set my eyes with the Laura Mercier powder. So the first palette I'm going to go in with is the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to be taking the these three colours. I'm going to take Golden Ochre, Glossiana and Burnt Orange all together on a big fluffy brush and just kind of start buffing this in to the crease as our transition shade then going in the color with the color real gar a little bit of a denser brush I'm going to be using that and taking that in the crease and just kind of deepening that crease. Don't worry, we're blending that all together. It'll be fine and it's gonna look a bit messy, but once it's all blended, it will all look a okay. <laughs> And then going to be taking the colours Spectrum Red and Love Letter and putting that in the exact same place where we put Real Girl. This is just going to add that pink tones to it and also make it easier for that purple we're going to put in to blend because it will blend it really nicely into the pink. Then I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Is it Dusk palette. It looks like this. I'm going to be taking the shade Wood here with another blending brush, a little bit smaller as you can see, and then tapping that in. I'm just placing that on the outer corner and strictly on that outer corner. And then I'm just going to be taking this Real Techniques brush, just kind of blend it in a bit. And all it's going to do is just add a bit of dimension, add some shadow to the eye and deepening it up. And then we're going to be taking the colour Amethyst here on that same um, crease brush that we used, a little bit more denser one. So we're going to be taking that and just patting that on the, the lid. Uh, on the outer little third of it. Not covering wood, just blending it into wood. I'm taking my big fluffy brush and blending that out. So those are those shades there. So now I'm just going to carve the crease using my same concealer and then I'll show you the shadow I'll be using. So once I've cut out my little section, I'm going to be taking the colour Twilight out of the palette on a little flat brush and really pack that on and look how beautiful that shade looks like. Wow, I'm speechless. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, then you want to kind of blend it here. And taking that brush where we put amethyst on, I'm just going to be packing that just so those two colours can kind of transition together. Like so. 
then I'm taking this little bit that has a bit of wood in it and then hopefully it's blend that out. I'm taking my big friendly brush and blend those out. And that's like the eyeshadow look. It's super simple and super easy. It looks like you put on a lot of time and effort into it. But it's honestly so easy to create if you just follow the steps. Easy. And just about putting colours together that work. So, for highlighting the bare bone in the inner corner, I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Single Shadow. The colour snow in make eve Maybe with this and it's a little white shadow it reminds me of mac nylon it's like that Let's see if i can swatch it it's like that and the same reminds me of mac nylon so i'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone and inner corners so once that's all all the eyes done i'm just going to wipe away that bake And now I'm going to go in with the under eyes. So I'm going to be taking that Modern Renaissance palette again and taking those three colours that we started off with. A little brush. Just go from out of corner to inner corner. There's three colours. I'm taking Real Girl and doing the exact same thing. Taking a veteran red and love letter and it's really doing the same thing. But as you get like the darker colours, you want to get like closer and closer if that makes sense to the lash line. Then taking the colour amethyst. Wanted that pretty close to our lash line. And then taking my last colour, wood right at the outer corner. And I'm just taking my big fluffy brush again and just blending that all so it looks nice and seamless. Now I'm just going to do pop on some mascara and lashes and I'll be back with the finished eye look and then we can return back finish. to the face. I look very galactic as I said with the lashes. So now we're going to continue with the face. So I'm going to start off with some bronzer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Deep Matte Bronzer. It looks like this. It smells beautiful. By far my favourite bronzer in the world. I'm just going to bronze my face. Revlon Mellow Drama Blush. It's just a nice little corally pink shade. I'm going to carve out my cheekbones using the my translucent powder. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using the most preferred Samantha Jade Highlight kind of makeup line. Yep, I think so. That's what it is. And she made like this little highlighter palette. I'm going to take this purple one just here. These highlighters are very metallic, I feel, which is great for like the festival kind of se season, and they are well pigmented G's. I'm just going to be putting that all over there, under my nose. Okay. Now up to the interesting part, the glitter. I'm going to put, I think, just some purple glitters here. And for that, I'm actually going to be taking the Sports Girl All That Glitters Glitter Face Palette. And it looks like, sorry, so you have around, around nine glitters. As you can tell, these two are very loved. But I'm going to be taking this one here. It's more of a purple kind of lilac kind of shade. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to place that all down here with my fingers and hopefully it looks nice. So I haven't used it yet. Oh geez, I love it. I mean, love, look at that. <gasps> wow. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to be putting that straight up here and a bit in here. Okay. Cut that. I'm going to actually I think I am. I'm going to mix in a bit of this one here. This is more like a hot pink kind of shade. Hopefully this doesn't ruin it. 
too much. I'm just gonna put like the tiniest little bits in. Just put a bit more of a color. Yeah. Like, wow. Looks so sick. I'm going to put in some like stars, some white stars, I think. And I'm going to use the NYX White Liquid Liner. Then just put in some white little stars. And none of that transferred onto my brush, so I'm pretty happy with that. Really happy with what's going on on the side of my face. I'm going to take away this bag. Hopefully, it's cleaned up a little. Let's see. Perfect. I'm going to start off with my number one ride or die at the moment. This is the Soap and Glory Extreme Plump. And this is just going to plump my lips. So let's put this on first. And for my lip today, I'm taking the Too Faced Melted Matte in the colour Cool Girl. So that's what the lip looks like. It was a really nice like nude purple kind of undertone. So when it dries, it actually has that purpley kind of undertone, but it's not too much. I'm just going to set my face with some Laura Cruzco Rose. Laura Cruzco, yeah, aloe vera and cucumber, just because I like my face, my face to be a bit more refreshed and just dewy and look like skin and that. <laughs> but yeah, this is the finished look. It's a very, as you can say, galactic purple. Kind of, it's something different. I haven't seen someone do this as a festival look, so I thought I might incorporate purples and pinks and orange kind of tones. And yeah, it came out pretty galactic, but I love it. And yeah, this is the finished look. And I hope you liked this video. Um, subscribe if you like to see more more tutorials if you want to see something other than makeup tutorials comment down below and tell me what you like to see i wouldn't mind doing like fashion videos vlogs and like so forth just give me any ideas of what you like to see and yeah hopefully i get to see you soon bye